Good morning and welcome to my off-camera co-host, Jeff. Good morning. Good morning. Have you read the Cornerstone yet today, Jeff? No, it's a big surprise. Let's be surprised together. It's like Christmas morning. <laughs> or whatever holiday morning you may celebrate. Oh, this is not a, this is a, here's some serious stuff. Updates available on partial government shutdown. It is. Let's see what's going on in there real quick. Uh, UAF Office of Grants and Contracts Administration post updates on its webpage to keep UAF's research community apprised of developments related to the partial federal government shutdown due to the lapse in appropriations. So you, there's a webpage included in there that you can go and visit. You can find out about all of the federally funded grants that maybe you may be counting on to do your research. It's important stuff. I don't know quite what else to say about that. I'm going to drink some coffee. Okay, great. Um, frozen lenses call for entry. Stupid Cupid. Hmm. Frozen lenses is the student photography club. In case you didn't know, Jeff, I'm sure you did though. You seem to know a lot of stuff. Art intake is Saturday, January 26th from noon to two in the UAF Art Gallery. So uh, bring your art. It's three dollars to get your art in there. Oh, three for eight. Bring in three submissions. Pay eight bucks. You can be, you can be considered for the show. Um, here's what it says about stupid Cupid. Are you ready? I am. Human beings are capable of incredible things, from poignant moments in art to interstellar exploration. But for, law, for all our intellectual prowess, there's still one thing that continues to elude most of us, the complete inability to function like a normal human being when confronted the world's most treasured and cutthroat emotion, love. So if you're creating art based on your struggle with love and what art isn't, then get it in there for a stupid Cupid. Uh, there's a series of Science for Alaska lectures. Shall we read more about that? Oh, yeah. I say we shall. Mm, January 29th is the first one, the Science of Smoke. Then there's one in February. There's four in February and then one in March. So February, the shortest month, has the most science packed into it from the UAF Geophysical Institute's Science for Alaska Lecture Series. Information is all there in the Cornerstone link. Follow it, and you can go get some science going. Uh, let's close out today's show. There's a bunch of stuff there in today's um, Cornerstone. But we're going to finish with some story about Akasofu. So Nichi Akasofu will give a presentation on research philosophy tomorrow from 1 to 2 in the building named after him. Can you imagine that? That's awesome. We should rename this the Richardson office, and then you would know what it's like to work in a place named after you. Uh, Akasofu is a professor emeritus of physics, was director of the Geophysical Institute from 1986 to 1999, quite a tenure and the founding director of the International Arctic Research Center from 1998 until 2007. That is a lot of science under his belt, and he's going to talk about it tomorrow from 1 to 2. The good thing about the 1 to 2 o'clock hour here on the Fairbanks campus, Jeff, is that it is an hour specifically designed where there's no classes, nothing is going on, so that students can go and do other things during that hour. So you make that plan, head on up to the Akasofu building or down if you're already up there on West Ridge, and you can enjoy a lecture uh, about 60 years of research. All right. Thank you very much, Jeff. Great show today. Great. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, there's Marmion. You want to be a special guest, Marmion? Too late. Sorry. Show's over. You got to be faster. All right. See you next time.